Why is that so loud? I don't know, man. You're running the goddamn controls. <laughs> it's always my favorite podcast every week. What are you talking about? That's a good plug. Yeah. Uh, yep, good. We'll just like soundbite that. <laughs> put it on. It's always my favorite podcast every week. You know, that'll be like uh, yep. the beginning of everyone. It's always my favorite podcast every week. You know, <laughs> that's perfect. You're up. No, I can't hear shit. My head yeah, you dumb son of a bitch. I muted you. I'm tired of listening to your voice. Well, good news is you got about another hour of listening to. <clears throat> Huck Finn Barbell live on the Let's Get Stupid show. I can hear that vodka coming, gurgling. Coming from uh, inside of Karen's Corner, episode 269. Nope. Not even close. 177. Is it uh, 176? Somewhere up there. I think. I think the end was 175. But, yep, we are live. We in, are live. In the corner. That is Karen's. <laughs> That is Karen's. That is Karen's. We are brought to you by uh, always generalleathercraft.com at Hayden at Pioneer Square Fit on Instagram. Go there for every leather belt need you could possibly think of. Belts, wraps, straps, cock rings, t-shirts, hats. He's got it all. Huge support of the show. Support him. He supports us, man. Also, subzeroplunge.com. Code STUPID. Check out 250 doll hairs off your cold tub. Everybody knows the benefits of them. The newest craze um, dopamine release throughout the day. I think it's like a four-hour release after you get out of it. Um, <laughs> that's a big release. That's a big release. Oh, yeah. Uh, increase in testosterone, low, lower body fat, increased energy, better mood, on and on and on. So if you're interested in getting into the craze, uh, support my brother. He has the tubs up. You can buy a tub by itself or you can buy it with the chiller and use our code. Get $250 off. He supports the podcast, so you should support him. And he's got some great stories. A good storyteller, you know. Oh, yeah. Very wild, good. A lot of wild things happen to you, to old Timmy. Um, what are you, oh, are you busy texting? Yeah, I, I'm very busy man right now. I'm uh, in the process of texting uh, the manufacturing company. We're trying to get these supplements out, so i got to make sure I get that out. I, I, I want to get that invoice paid so they can put us in that. Oh, they won't queue it up yet? Yeah, it's got to be queued in the in the thing, and it takes, you know. Bill some, me. Yeah, let's go. I got to pay. Let's go and pay right now. So I can get it in, so we can get it in by like the second or third week of June. Oh, get it into the shop. Get it in here, delivered. Yeah, yeah. So six, it's going to be weeks. on six weeks at least. Usually six to seven they've been doing. Yeah. So that's very good. But uh, I got a that blue raspberry lemonade is fucking awesome. And I like it so much I'm putting it in the pre-workout and the aminos. So they'll both come out the same day. It's going to be great. I cannot wait for it to drop. Um, yeah, it's coming. Coming down the road, summer edition. So probably look for it towards the uh, middle end of June. Good. For, for your birthday. Yeah, oh, that'd be good. It's not going to be here that early. That's about six weeks. That's about five weeks. No, probably six weeks. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We shall see. Is your pool open? Why would that be open? It was like two degrees yesterday. Mine's open. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. What do you mean it's open? They opened the pool. Why were they open on the 3rd of May? <sighs> because for some reason, in-ground pools, you always open them like a month earlier, and then you close them a month later. And then with their schedule, well, like later, they have to build the schedule. That's true. So they're like, yeah, we just, we'll do it right away and just get it done because we've got so many of these to do. Like, Because everybody wants their pool open like Memorial Day, or yeah. that's kind of like the weekend that's to do it. Or you do it the week before, so it's ready for yeah. Memorial Day. But it's like, yeah, it's three weeks. And it, uh, Did you get in it? Oh, no, looks, What's the temperature? It looks, uh, like 45 degrees, which part of me is like, I'll go in it for like the cold effect. Oh, yeah. But it don't look good. No. Like, it's not clear. It's, it's fucking. Not. Let me show you. I'll show you the live feed. You got a live feed of your pool? Yeah, always. What do you do? You just check your wife out when she's sunbathing out there? Oh, man, that's pretty good fucking live feed, dude. Right? Yeah. Let's see if the camera can see that. Damn. Man, it is really good. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty nice. See that place that I built? Shit, that went up fast, huh? You got a bench there, too? Yeah. It's like a fucking park. I got a park bench there, like the, the metal ones that you are covered in rubber. You built it? The bench? Everything. Yeah, I built everything. Jesus. Amber, did, there's like a little playhouse thing yeah, on the side. That. Yeah. She built that, and then we built the we built it nice. throughout the week, the place set. And How much mulch was that? I don't know. I got 20 yards, yards delivered. How much does that cost? Eight hundred and fifty dollars delivered. Hmm. So we um, 
Did that last week. Built a border. Put like that mesh shit down so the oh, yeah. stuff doesn't pop up. And dude, I swear to God, it was like a hundred loads, like uh, wheelbarrows, <laughs> loads, loads, wheelbarrow loads of mulch. Like it oh. felt like we just kept, it just like keep. Because you're bringing it from the driveway back. Yeah, oh, it was yeah. like the farthest point I could bring yeah, it. I know it. But luckily, um, my sister-in-law was over. And she had her boyfriend to tag along. I go, oh, perfect. Yeah. I got sure, a that job. guy's a big help. Probably a big pussy. <laughs> he helped. He's when he comes to our house, like he helps me out with stuff around the house. He starts so throwing up. No, he. I mean, oh, he did. He moved probably fucking 30, 40 loads. What's he weigh? Uh, One hundred and sixty pounds. <laughs> yeah, he's not like, you know, he's not like us. Oh, yeah, work no. out. But of course I, not. I was like, oh, you're here for free manual labor. Oh, let's go. Let's That's go, good. buddy. I'll buy you a beer. Yeah, um, buy you a beer. But he did try to convince me that it was better to pee sitting down, and I could not get behind that. I go, you need to stop talking. What? Yeah, he tried convincing me. Better to pee sitting down. Yeah, I go. Is it better to pee sitting down so you don't fucking splash shit everywhere? That's well, I mean, that's reasons. about the only reason that I can think of. one of his reasons. And then he was. He, There's no other reason. Because he's got a daughter same age as we, or our kids. Like She's five. Um, oh, God. And he's so like, your sister-in-law is marrying into an instant family? No, they're just dating. Oh man, that's I don't a, know. That don't sound good. Whatever. Yeah, not not my problem. I got enough problems with women. I don't need. <laughs> yeah, I don't no. need to add another one. So, he was saying like, well, when I, I had to teach my daughter to pee, I had to sit down and show her. It doesn't make any sense if I stand up. I go, yeah, but you know, when you're by yourself though, you just stand up, right? No, it's just more easier to sit down. What a lazy piece of shit. I go, what? I go, dude. He's like, it's it's nice. I go, so you go to a bar, you go to the stall, shut the door and piss. Yeah, sit down. Are you kidding me? He's like, it's less messy. Plus, you know, if I have my daughter with me, I don't want to, you know, have my thing out in front of her. I go, well, you tell her to, if she has to go potty and you go after her, I go, what I do to my daughters, I say, go in the corner and you have to understand privacy. This is a lesson. Yeah. Don't look. Oh, privacy. Like, th- that's what you do with if you're in the, you know what I mean, the stall and you have to go when your daughter's there. I, you I sit hold, down too. I'll hold it for eight hours. I'm not going. You won't go to the bathroom? No. No? No. If I got to pee, I got to pee, dude. No, I hold it the whole time. I just, no way. I will not even drink if I'm going out and I have to get the girls with me for an extended period of time. I will not even drink a drop. That's fucking I am weird. not urinating uh, in a public place. I'm not bringing the girls in, into a, a male stall. It's like I, well, I have to. I wouldn't be. Well, how do you get them? How do you have them go pee? You have to bring them into the male stall. No. You take them to the woman? I take the oldest, which would go with that, and I would stand outside the door. Make sure. Oh, well, she's like, what, what is she, eight, nine, ten? Ten. Yeah, it's a little different. Mine are five and four. Well, when they were I two, when they were too young, I wouldn't even go. I wouldn't even go. Out. I wouldn't go out of the house till they're at least six or seven. <laughs> That's we're not leaving. I get too nervous. They're gonna be at least a certain age before we're leaving the house. They're still the oldest the, can take care of all. Two, yeah. the other two. We're staying in the bunker. <laughs> Stay sheltered down. Yes, we're sheltering in place, girls. Yeah, no, I can try to take them out as much as I can because I want them to be socially desirable. By the time they're five socially or six. desirable. Well, like you ever go out to a restaurant and like kids are fucking they're doing two things, right? Or three things. They're fucking going nuts, running around the restaurant, or they have headphones on and they got a fucking tablet and they're like two inches away from it, or they're just sitting, being kids. Oh, I mean, my girls are great, but that's because of Miss Barbell. Yeah, but she teaches them how yes. to behave in a, in exactly a, in a, to be socially yes. desirable. See, I don't go out, out by around. myself that much. If we go out, we go out together a lot, right? Mm-hmm. I don't go – I would never go by myself to – I don't know. Where are you going? Like out to eat or something? Yeah, or? like I like – like if Amber's gone, like she's going to be gone next week, um, I'll take him shopping. I'll shopping? take him out what to you, eat. What do you mean shopping for what? We just, I like to take him shopping. That's like my thing. You shop to buy him like gifts? Yeah, I'll get, they'll go to like uh, the Claire's store. You know that store, like a girl store? So you're telling me you go out for an hour and you're going to have to fucking piss or shit your pants with your girls and you got to go to the bathroom? I don't get it. Like, I can hold it for like a couple hours. I don't Unless you're going on an all-day, eight-hour adventure, I don't know. Sometimes. Sometimes. I'll... Like, something like that I could see. Like, you got to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes Which I go maybe into, like, a, I guess maybe I've gone into a, like a family restroom, right, or something like that. Yeah, those like are that. the best. That's, I'm not taking them in a male restroom, though. There's no, no way. I don't know, but With a bunch of fucking idiots in there. How much? How much? I'll clear the fucking room out before I go. <laughs> Everybody out of here, get the fuck out of here. I got girls coming in. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, I've done that before. I just make sure like there's no like a bunch of people in there, and I take them to the big stall and I shut the door and close it. Yeah. Whatever. Or if it's full, then I go into the women's. Well, you can do that nowadays. You can <laughs> identify as a woman. Yeah, that's true. Well, you can't say anything about it. You'll got, sue them. I got three with me, so it does help. <laughs> hey, girls, how you doing? <laughs> 
It's okay. I got a couple daughters. Oh, come on in. <laughs> is that a daily? Why'd basis? you say so? <laughs> come on in, yeah. sir. Yeah. Oh, this is what the this is what it's all about, huh? Oh, nice. This is great. It's, I'm gonna pee to sit out. It's funny because like, you guys, mind if I sit out for a spell? <laughs> we went down downtown St. Charles like two weeks ago, and we took him to a restaurant. And they had to pee, you know. And then one goes, "I gotta go too." I'm like, "Okay, fine, let's go." So I take him to the men's. Just You're like, by yourself? No, Amber's there. Why didn't Amber go? Because sometimes she, they want me to take them. Sometimes they want Amber. So I go, okay, whatever. Yeah, but they're girls. That should be Amber's job, not your job. What, like, what if they're I... boys, you take the boys. I would take the, hey, boys, let's go. We're boys. We're men. We're going in. Yeah. So Amber's there, and she's not going with the girls? Sometimes. Yeah, but sometimes. she's there. Why would she yeah. go? What is because she doing? Because sometimes the girls want to go with me. So who cares? <laughs> they're they girls. Do. They're girls. You go with the mom. Not Where are you always. going? You're going to the men's bathroom with the the daughters yeah. while well, you have your wife right there? Yeah, what's the difference? Or sometimes, like, I went to the one. What's and the then... difference? In you're, you're going in the men's bathroom. When there's a, a woman there, they could take them. I don't I, – yeah, that, that I don't get. I would not do that. Uh-huh. I would say, well, if Karen's here, you're definitely – that's what she's here for. What if she's, she's like a woman? crying, like, no, I want Dad to take me? Well, that – Too bad? You got to, you gotta like, make – yeah, too – like, hey, too bad. You're going with Mom. Like that, she's a woman. Yeah, it's just not how we do things. I, I, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, it's just weird. You don't think Why? that's weird? I'm in the bathroom with my kids. A male to, bathroom. They have to go to the bathroom. There's a woman there, which is your wife. Yeah. So why wouldn't she take them to a woman's bathroom? She yeah. was a woman. I'll take her to the woman's too. I don't. It doesn't bother me. But you're not. I don't get it. Yeah. No. No. I don't get that, Kels. I just. I don't know. That's never, weird. I've never put that much thought into it. Oh, like I put thought, I've, listen, I put thought in it because I've been out with the girls. Usually, though, Amber just like, okay, I'll take all three of them at once. Right. And then I'll That's go. perfect. But then, like, ten minutes later, I got to go again. I got to go again. Why would and you go like, again? Because they're, t- they're four and five, Finn. <laughs> they, they, don't they just make again. shit up. And they're like, I'm like, you just went. Not all the way. I'm like, what, the, what are you doing in there? No. But I want you to take me. All right, that's fine. I'm not going to sit at the restaurant and argue about going to the bathroom. I'll just take you. Well, maybe you, maybe you started it like that. Now they, they, like, they, they like that, right? Yeah, like, you like started doing somebody. that, now they think that's, like, what they do. If she already took them the whole time, they would never know. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Doesn't really bother yeah, me. That kind of stuff is weird. I don't know. That's the weird. That's weird. Yeah. Not really, but okay. <laughs> you don't think that's weird? I don't. You're a male. Yes. They're going into a men's restroom when there's a female there to take them to a female restroom. Yeah, but if she just took them two times and she just got her food and they go, I gotta go to the bathroom again. Well, that's a different. I'm not gonna be that's like a, that's a whole different. I'm thing. not gonna be like, Pff. but it's not my fault your food gets cold. Well, take her to the bathroom, but I'll be like, no, I'll, I'll go. It's that's fine. just t- something totally different. You just, I don't know. That's that's the same thing. That's not you. You like trained your kids to go or something, and then they just go. Like, well, that's the idea, but sometimes. You know, two will go, and then the other one will be like, I don't need to go. And then 10 minutes later, like, I need to go. And you're like, what the heck? Let's just all go I mean, I can once. see it happen once in a blue moon, but I don't know, man. If the wife's there and you got girls, like I said, if there are boys, I'm taking the boys every time. I wouldn't expect Karen to take the boys into a women's restroom. Right. They would go with me into the male restroom. But since mm-hmm. I have all girls, it's kind of like they're the girls. You know what I mean? Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but it doesn't, doesn't bother me. What is like some guy like gonna be weird to my girls in there? It's just weird. Is there a guy in there urinating? I mean, you're in a urinal. There are guys peeing. They're idiots. I, I don't expect a like my ten year old daughter to come in while some guy's got his junk out taking a leak, and we're walking in there like, hey, what's going on? That's that's fucked up to me. Well, he's I, not exposing himself. He's exposed right there in yeah. the urinal. But he's not in a fucking. He's not walking around like is anybody's daughter here. Uh, it's just gross. I don't know. I don't. I don't like that. And typically, like I get. Not lucky, but like every time I go in, I go check, make sure there's not a bunch of guys in there. Typically, it's empty. I don't know why. Like every time I go take the girls to the bathroom, there's like nobody in there. Like it's very rare if there's someone in the bathroom with I, us. I think you better just start sheltering in place. <laughs> don't do anything. That way, when you're out in the real world, things will be very awkward for you. The real world, they're not going into a men's bathroom. They are there if they're with me. <laughs> That's weird. How is that not weird? They you have, have to a, go to the bathroom. That's understandable when you're them. by yourself, but you have a wife. She should take them to the yeah, bathroom. Yeah, and most of the time she does, but sometimes they want me to take them. And I'm not going to sit there and be like, no, you're going with your mom. You're a girl. Like, it's like, eh, what? yeah, you got to pee. I don't really care. Well, how old's the oldest? Five. Not old enough. to. T- I would no. not feel comfortable taking them no. or letting her that's take young. them. Yeah. And they're all this, like the same age. Yeah. It's, so it's like I got to wait till like <laughs> eight, right? Maybe eight and seven. 
I don't know. Let's get out of this bathroom talk. Yeah. This is this is taking way too much of the show. <laughs> But he's trying to, yeah, he's trying to convince me that he's like, well, it's less messy, and you know, it's just. Oh, that's messy. how we got into this, yeah, because yeah. he's sitting down and to I'm pee. Like, I go and I looked at him. I go, hey, you need to drop this topic. I go, well, you're not going to convince me. And I'm over there. It's funny because he was telling me this, and he's like, he's doing some labor, right? But yeah. I'm, I'm working on his girlfriend's car, replacing her struts. <laughs> and he sits. And I'm like, and he sits down I'm, to pee. I'm over here, like, like replacing this shit, and I'm like, what did you say? Yeah, you got to sit down to pee. Trust me, it's way better, Tom. And I go, I'm like trying to get this bolt out. I go, you need to stop fucking and then talking. You, I go, and stop you, telling me this. And stuff. then you <laughs> asked him if you. So you're telling me, like, not at your house, but you're at a, at a bar, and you walk in, and you go buy two urinals, and you go to the stall, and then you choose to sit down to pee in a stall. That's what he's telling me. He just he would just rather sit. That's just pure laziness. I don't know if it's lazy. It just seems weird. It's it's, it's not, not, it's not really, only weird, it's weird, yes, and it's lazy. Maybe, but if you're sitting on a bar stool, the only time like you'd want to get up and stretch your legs and stand for a, 30 seconds of piss and go back to sit down. Like, why would you want to sit down? I, eat, I don't know. That's the only time I've ever sat down to pee would be, like, if I'm taking a shit. <laughs> well, ideally, yeah. Usually I still stand you never, up. You never, I'm like, I'm not sitting down to piss. You never, this is what women do. You never <laughs> not piss kidding. when you take a shit. I know, I so. know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, but, no, know. like, once in a blue moon, if I'm fucking, like, about – Tired as fuck and I can't stand. Maybe I'll sit down at my own house in like five in the morning or something. You're, that's the that's only the laziest thing I've ever heard. That's very lazy. Oh that's God. what I'm saying. That's super lazy. You're a fucking la- you're lazy. You sit on the P is uh, you're either super lazy or you're a woman, one or the other. And I, I I could never even imagine sitting down in a like daily in a public restroom ten too, times a day. To pee. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. I know. That's what's great about being a dude. You can stand to pee. I don't like pee anywhere. You know, that kind of sucks to be a girl. They have to fucking hover over a fucking porta john. Yeah, that's the worst. You're like going there with your. I'm sure you don't go there with your daughters. But sometimes we, when the father takes his daughter to a porta potty, he has to like sit there and hold her. Oh, like yeah. Hover. That's the worst. I think a baseball game. Listen, you just go outside. We teach. I teach my girls yeah. to go outside. We had a baseball game with 300 people. Yeah, we just <laughs> drop trial right in the field. I mean, we don't. We're, we're not in St. Charles where there's you know, a bunch of people around. There's cornfields. Yeah, except for their players and the parents. Well, they go out there too. So do the parents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Karen fucking lose her mind. Man, I cannot believe you're taking your girls into the restroom when your wife is there. Yeah. That boggles my mind. Your mind's bottled. It's all your tra- it's boggled. thoughts are trapped <laughs> into a bottle right now, shaking around. I don't know. Speaking of going to the bathroom, my anniversary is yesterday. <laughs> You went to the bathroom on your anniversary? Yeah. What was it? A uh, What do you call that? God, I can't think of the name. Dirty Sanchez? Is that what you got for your anniversary oh, present? Gross. <laughs> God, no. Not for me, dude. Yeah. Well, how? yeah, how, I saw your anniversary was um, on the line. Five years. Five years. That's what it took us Down to Down the drain. High, it took us to graduate <laughs> high school, man. All five years of high school, I'd say yeah. we were buddies. Yep. Um, so you're five years married. How does it feel? I don't know. It's all good. It's all good? Yeah. Taking your kids to the bathroom. <laughs> you can't get off that, can you? <laughs> all right, so you're five years married. Did you, you go out last night? Or was that last night? Yeah, because we were like, you know, this weekend, what are we at? We're going to Star Rock, finally, oh, right? Oh, God, yeah. Watch so out. Did you then, watch the Star Rock murder? No, nah, not yet. We're going to show her that before I'm we sure. go. I'm she, sure. She loves that kind of stuff. Get her to cancel and save me some money. She would. In her um, and she then... Next weekend's Haley's graduation, and then it's like one thing after another. I'm like, we just have to go on the day. Just yeah. get the fucking babysitter for, you know, instead of, instead of Amy coming in the morning, have her come at night. I go, we down. have to go. We're not going to go. Go for town, yeah. So we went and got, she's like, oh, you know what would be nice? Set of gifts. Let's get massages. What? And I was like, that's fine. Huh. I, think I haven't got like a like, massage uh, or something. oriental massages? Or? <laughs> <laughs> I think American, I guess. You got an American massage. Well, yeah, it's... just like a couple's massage thing. Together? Yeah, in the a, same as, room as a couple. Yeah, oh, okay. a couple hold massage. on. I've already heard a lot of weird stuff out of your mouth tonight. Don't tell me you had the dude. No, I had the girl. You both had dudes. No, I had the girl. She had the guy. What? And to me, I thought that was it was going to be flipped because I said I want like firmer pressure. I want something done back there. You know, you let another man touch your wife on your wedding day. <laughs> it's not my wedding day. It's my anniversary. That's your wedding day. Yeah, it's called a massage. It's called your wedding day and a massage. Karen's ever had a massage before? Uh, not by a man, no. 
Absolutely not. I'm going to make sure I book her one with them. You better not. Actually, I'm going to get her a couple's massage and just both of them massaging <laughs> you her. better not. Damn it, Callis. <laughs> That'll show you. Where'd you go, St. Charles? And then I'll make sure I'll get you a dinner reservation and make you take your kids to go back to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, damn I'll it. show you. My whole day's going to be ruined. <laughs> damn it. Worst fucking Wednesday ever. Yeah. Wife's got two guys touching her. Yeah. I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> Clear out. Everybody out of this damn room right now. I got girls coming in. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, you psycho, get your ass out of here. <laughs> Creep. Yeah. Some old guy, huh? The fuck's your problem? Ugh. What are you looking at, nerd? Yeah, it was a little weird. So you had some chick touching you. Now, were you fully clothed? I'm assuming you're naked. No, I had boxers on. So you got down to your boxers? Yeah. How's she what, what was Amber wearing? Uh, same thing, I guess. Boxers? <laughs> <laughs> she wore boxers. I said, put some boxers on. Get your boxers on, damn it. I need that covered. <laughs> Was she topless? Was she T O P L E S S? Yes. Y E S S. She was. How are you supposed to massage someone's back with the, with a fucking bra? Oh, well, easily. How do you put suntan oil on? They have make, a bikini top on, which you make her take her tits out. No, she just you know takes she gets you get under the covers and then uh, <laughs> you're in takes covers. Her, takes her shirt off and then like there's like a blanket on you and then like so you're all covered up and then you'll take the blanket off and massage your back or whatever. So what side boobs hanging out? Were you looking? I don't know. She lays on him. So were you guys next to each other, right? When you were yeah. staring at her? Yeah. We were face to face. Well, you were you're fucking this way? Yeah. So that's what, how I wanted it. Shut up. Were <laughs> you kidding? You guys are staring at each other's <laughs> eyes. Look at me. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I told her it was funny because she like, started getting naked. I go, what are you doing? She's like, well, I'm getting ready for massage. I go, put that shirt back Hold on. on. Were you guys, in the same, at her. you guys are in the same room getting naked? Yeah. Just getting before changed. they come in, they're like, hey, Correct. get ready. Yeah. So then she takes her top off. And then what did you do? Try to grab him. He goes from six to midnight immediately. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! I'm fully erect. I got a male coming in to touch me. This is not good, <laughs> sir. Your erection. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Yeah, no, it was just kind of like it wasn't. It was fine, but it was like, you ever had him? You ever had a professional massage before? Never. You look like you have never had one. Um, <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, because when I when I get anything done to me, it's for like recovery. Same here. Like I want dry kneeling, it hurts like a motherfucker. Oh, but it, bad. two days later, I feel great. Like, I, same thing. Same with like Graston. Graston. Any kind of massage, it'd be like it'd be like getting out the knot. It's like sitting blood, out. I'm yeah. bruised everywhere. Yeah, it hurts. Same like, this thing. Is not fun. I've gotten all that. Yeah. That's why I kind of told him like I want like pressure. I want like some shit Deep in my back. Just fucking something. break break that shit up. And it was like, you know, really and I'm like, that. what the fuck? We got going. What are you going? What are you doing back there? Yeah. It was it was like not. It was more like trying to be like relaxing. I go, I don't want to relax. I want to like get up and be like, okay, something's better. Something can move better. You oh. know what I mean? How long was it? An hour or an half hour? An hour. Jeez, big spender. <laughs> That's the only option. It was like oh. an hour and 90 minutes or something. I'm like, no, just an hour. Oh, I thought there was 30 in an hour. I don't know. I don't think there's 30. I don't know. I didn't really, whatever. So you got an hour massage. Yeah. And then she like put a bunch of oil on her hands. So it will be like probably easier for her to massage. Oh, yeah. But, like I think too much. Yeah. I don't know. It was just kind of weird. Now, how high did she go up, let's say, on your buttocks region? Did well, she, she, like, she massage the butt? No. She didn't. I said no butts. Upper thighs? Uh, kind of like, like the side. Hamstrings, I'm like side. Like hamstrings? Like side. Hamstrings. So all the way up to the gluteus maximus. Oh, well. The tie-in, probably <laughs> yeah. the, what, the tie-in? The yeah, hammy the ties. Yeah. glute tie-in. Well, that's pretty fucking high. Yeah. Well, it is a professional massage. It's not like a uh, porno like you're thinking of. No, I'm not thinking of that. I'm just, you know, that's still... You're trying to picture me naked getting a massage? I am. It's got ass got to be hairier than fuck. <laughs> I'm just glad Amber fucking trimmed my oh, back Oh, yeah. Hair. I saw that video. So your back hair was trimmed. That's good. That was. It was really bad. I mean, especially if you're having some chick, you know, do your massage. She's got to go through that forest. It was bad, dude. I know. Like, I saw. She's like, it was like over like two inches. Well, I saw like your traps were fucking hairier than I fuck. know. I, you could see my back hair from the front. I go, oh, my <laughs> That's God. That's bad. I go, this is really bad. <laughs> it was like a PR. I know. This one, one guy used to always... Uh, I used to, uh, he was in high school with me. He was always played sports with me, right? And his name was Dude Man. I don't know if you ever heard of him. Anyway, maybe I've heard that name. Before, dude Man was because uh, he always said Dude Man, like after everything he'd say, Dude Man, Dude, <laughs> Dude Man. So he nicknamed Dude Man. But he had terrible back hair. And his back hair as a high schooler. Yes, and it, and shoulder hair, and it looked like he he'd wear a t shirt. And it was like he had shoulder pads on, but it was hair. Gross. So that was wild. That was that guy probably had now, and it's so weird too because. The guy started balding real early at an early age. So in his 20s, he's balding, but he's fucking, you know, body is hairier than fuck. Weird. So it's such a such a curse, or not a curse, what do you call that? Like a, like God gives you like 
all this fucking hair on your body, but takes it from your head. It's like the worst. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're a guy, you know. Yeah, it does suck. Yeah. I got so much hair, but, yeah, there's none on the top of my head where you (laughs) want it. Isn't that weird? It is weird. And, like, every time she does my back, it's like, she's like, there's, like, more spots of hair. Like before, just like the top a little bit, and then well, yeah, it's like all the way like down. Forty or now fifty it's going or... over my shoulders. I'm like, oh, it's gonna be tons more. I've heard of guys getting that like laser stuff done. It's like one and done. But I'm like, no, it's like three that. times. I think, or yeah, like, yeah, a like, couple times. You know, what I mean, once you go through yeah. the process, like it's never hair again. But I was like, yeah, not for me. That's one thing I would I would hate. I I mean, I'm starting to get back here. The older I get, I used to never even have any, really? like none, like not even peach fuzz. Now I got a little bit going, yeah, but growing in my wings. Were you ever like a, a hairy person, like your arms no, and legs no, and stuff? No, no. not no. super hairy at all. Well, you're Irish, right? You're not very hairy. Yeah, I'm half Irish, half uh, German. Yeah, yeah, I got the worst of them. Well, yeah, you're Greek. Yeah, my brothers are not as it's bad. Like as Super me. hairy. But mine, mine's like real bad, like annoyingly bad. Well, I mean, you got a good beard out of it. Yeah, that. Least. I mean, that helped. Your beard's full. Yeah, I got, I got that. That was got easy. a full beard. You know, you see some people with those patchy beards it looks like uh God. all white trashy looking like that show yeah what's that that movie is like is your beard coming all white trashy like that yeah. <laughs> yeah i love guys they try to grow beards but it just looks like shit we got guys that work like that and it's like like it's like patchy then it's like long and straggly like I'm just like, shave that shit you or grow a mustache, or something. You a mustache or something. yeah you look ridiculous yeah it, it looks oh, terrible it's coming in like, no it's coming mm, in <laughs> i don't know dude you're missing some spots yeah so you guys are getting a couple's massage. It lasts an hour. Yeah. Now, is Amber, like, moaning during this massage, or what's going on? <laughs> moaning. Well, I, I was going to get into the story later, but. No, no moaning. There's kind of like, yeah, 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 whatever. You don't really talk. Oh, because she, no really she was, like, really into it, probably, because the other guy was really hitting the spot. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> well, you were there. Yeah, but, like, you didn't hear anything. It was, like, very quiet for an hour. So she was. You guys weren't looking at each other's eyes, just like no, because your face, like face is down. Like so if I would go like this, it'd be yeah. like awkward almost. You know what I mean? Huh. Now were you getting aroused at all during this, or just no? It was weird, but it was. Was the chick hot? Uh, no. Was she skinny? Yeah. Like average. Yeah, probably average, average woman, average woman. forty year old woman. Huh. I guess you know whatever. Probably like what? Maybe guess maybe six, seven. <laughs> maybe six. That's not bad. But she whatever. You I know, don't really she's care. Touching you and she's oiling you up. <laughs> Whew, man. Didn't, didn't really bother me either way. <laughs> I was hoping for like a 300 pound man. Oh, yeah. Just, just fucking yeah, bury remember, down on me. Remember that one guy used to fucking work on us? The guy from Wisconsin? Mark? Uh, right? Mike? No. I, I can't. At Fitworks? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, I know him too. That guy was good. That, yeah. But uh, there was the other guy who would come out to Barbell Central. Yeah. That guy was like fucking Barzine size. Yeah. He was a monster. Oh, God. I remember he him. Crap. <sighs> he was working on my lat because my fucking something wasn't working properly. And he fucking. Oh, God. I thought he killed me. Yeah. No, and he worked with like the Green Bay Packers or something. Now that guy, yeah, I know that hurt. About. Yeah, that's the kind of guy who'd come in and give you a massage. Yeah, that'd have been great. <laughs> I mean, not good, but would have. I would have felt better. The next afterwards. day, you'd have felt great. Right. The time you don't. Yeah. Now, what, what's the guy about a ten that's doing? Uh, oh yeah. Doing your, mean, he had a shirt off too, life. which I thought was really weird. Yeah, I had a shirt off, and he, he was, was wearing boxers. Yeah, well, this is odd. You spoke, well, I must be part of the massage. A couple of massages. Never got one before. Yeah. This has got to be right. Here, hit my, hit my mic real quick. Come on. Oh, that was louder than fuck. I put my shirt on real quick. Yeah, I was fucking. Was, You're fucking? That was hot. Yeah, well, you know, you don't the climate control this place. You let Tom freeze. Yeah. Bunch of tomfoolery going on. It was that cold drink I'm drinking. <sighs> All right, where were we now, Tommy? Um, you were fantasizing about me getting a massage. So Tom's uh, full, fully aroused, full staff. Uh, He's yeah. on the top floor. Um, top did you floor. flip over it? Like flip over during it? Or? Yeah, it's usually in massages, you, you know, both sides. Oh, you do? Yeah. I thought you were just on your face the whole time. No. I told her I just don't do my back for a while because there's like knots in it. And she's like rubbed over them. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Whatever. I don't really care. So – Midway, you flip over under your back. Yes. Now you got to be aroused at some point. I mean, <laughs> no. I mean, not, you're not looking at your wife too. No, it was just it was like eyes closed. You're looking up. I almost fell asleep at one point. So what? You, what? You, what, uh, what? What are you doing with your erection? Like you just hiding it? Is it like <laughs> it's pull, not. A, I'm you, not erect. Are you Polish chucking it? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, sir. Uncross your legs. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> not today. No. I'm very embarrassed. <laughs> Can you just leave? 
This is supposed to be a wedding anniversary. Stop. I feel like I'm cheating. Stop. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. God damn it, you went too far. <laughs> That's it. I'm out of here. Got to clean up now. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. I, I thought you had, you know, well, you had box dots. That's the same thing as having sweatpants shorts on, no underwear. Yeah, but it, I didn't have an erection. I'm an adult. You can control it? Yes. Man, Complete can't. control over myself. Jesus. Complete control. You know, Vince McMahon uh, thought he had – he um, was in so much control, wanted to be so much in control of his body, he would never sneeze. Yeah. Like and he it, wouldn't let it out? He wouldn't let himself sneeze because he would be very upset with himself if he'd sneeze. <laughs> I read that somewhere. I thought it was fucking hilarious. You sure that's true? Yeah, it's true. Google it. Oh, okay. Go, I'm sure. Yeah, somebody said it on the internet, probably on Reddit, and it has to be true. No, I think uh, I think just one of them. I think it was Bachman said it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good source. So then after you got released, then what happened? Uh, we just, like, our thing is, like, we like bar hopping, right? We like, like, have a drink or two, oh, yeah. get an appetizer, go to the next place. Yeah. Like, all these places, we want to like, okay, let's go to um, just some place we haven't tried before in Geneva. Like, some newer places or places that were closed. Or yeah. and then something new opened there. I'm like, oh, we'll try there. So we went to, like, a fancy, it was, like, small plates, cocktails. And I'm like, okay, that's perfect. I want an appetizer, I want a cocktail. Yeah. And it's like, the chick was nice, but it was, like, fancier drinks. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, yeah well, you get whatever. to a fancy place with cocktails. Right? Yeah. And then, like, like oh, you and want you're some. in St. Charles. Right. Well, it's Geneva. Or but even fancier. St- yeah, which is more, like, in my opinion, more, like, maybe not, not fancier, but more, um, like, kid, fr- almost, like, family friendly. Because everything closes at, like, 10 o'clock on Fridays. Yeah. Like, there's no, like, going to the bar till 2 a.m. Right. Like, maybe it's open till 11. Maybe. But usually everything's closed at, like, well, yeah. 10. It's not like, oh, you know, like. Fucking hillbilly ish, like the fucking winter circle. It's open to like four in the morning. <laughs> winter circle. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Ain't guys coming from Bob Joe Speedway over yeah, there. Yeah, no. Um, but then, like, okay, we get some grilled oysters. I'm like, oh, okay, that's something. Oh, God. And, dude, they're like. Grilled oysters? Like the size of a nickel. And there's like that's five of them. And I'm like. That's because those are the type of guys that go there and eat them. They're not like I was very big upset. guys. Yeah, I guess. You know, they're like, I don't know, some guy that just came out of his office has like a. Just got done peeing from sitting down? Yeah, just got done pe- sitting down <laughs> peeing, you know, and takes his tie off, thinks he looks cool, and then he gets like, uh, you know, like uh, two grams of food It was ridiculous, and a little dude. cocktail, a kitty cocktail. And I was like, I mean, she they had a helpful. pretty good old-fashioned she made me. I was like, oh, that's cool. Amber got some fancy drink. I, I don't know. No, and I'm don't like, know. I wasn't really paying attention. I wasn't really paying attention to her. <laughs> and I was like, eating, and I'm like, fuck, that's it? And I'm like, I don't, she's like, you want more? I go, I'm not paying another <laughs> 20 bucks for this fucking, this fucking two grams of food. Yeah. I go, no, I'm good. So then we go to the finally, like, go to a couple spots, and then we go to the reservation. Reservation? Yeah, this place called, like, Niosh, Niche, something. Ooh, it's not good. If you can't even say the name, it's, well, no, it, it can't a, be good. It was a cool logo. It was a bull with, like, a mustache and a beard with horns in a Ooh. suit top. It's pretty cool. I'm like, oh, it's got to be a good spot. It's a good logo. Everything was fucking way over fucking priced. Oh, God. So then, like, oh, they have a steak special. I go, that's oh. fine. I'll get that. I didn't, he didn't say the price. I figured, like, oh, Was steak. it on the menu? No. Yeah, it's never good. I go, probably 40 50 bucks. Yeah, probably like, like $75, 80 yeah. And I'm like, and it was not, like, like the one restaurant that we like going to in St. Charles has, like, an $80 beef Wagyu. But it's a huge, and I'm like. Beef Wagyu? Yeah. Beef wagyu. Isn't, that, isn't that Japanese? <laughs> yeah, I believe so. I don't, I don't trust those guys. <laughs> but it's really good. You ever good, heard of Pearl Harbor? So I'll pay for it. But there, I'm like, this Pearl. was not that fucking good. Yeah. And then you barely get a side with it. You know, it's like this much mashed potatoes. I'm like, oh, this is great. And then what they had was, Amber's like, well, they have a diet. They have a Dr. Pepper Old Fashioned. Oh. And I go, oh, that's that's oh awesome. Yeah. Well, I'll fucking have one. That yeah, sounds great. Yeah, you love Old Fashioned? You love I Dr. Like, Pepper. I like Old Fashioned. I like Dr. Pepper. Should be great. I go, this place should be great. It was, wasn't it? No. It sucked? Sucked. Oh, good. It was like they just made an Old Fashioned, and they just put, like, cherries in it. You know, because, like, Dr. Yeah. Pepper's like a sweet yeah. tar- tart cherry. Right. And I was like, what the fuck, man? And then, like, the bill was, like, $160. I'm like, yeah, I'm done. 160 bucks down the drain. And we were, me and Amber went to go work out today, and she was even saying, she goes, I just want bar food for a while. I go, yeah, me too. What? Like, good bar food. You know, like a burger. Oh, like yeah. Good burger and fries and, like, a fucking vodka. Oh, yeah. She goes, I don't want any fancy. I go, yeah, I'm fucking done with that fancy bullshit. Like, it just wasn't. For me, it's like I don't like I'll pay for it because we don't do it very often. Mm-hmm. But it's like you want it to be. This better be fucking really, well, yeah, really good. Yeah, you get a good steak somewhere. Yeah, eighty dollars steak. It better be. Like, yeah, oh, this is really good. <laughs> yeah, it, it better be a lot better than they say Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, I mean Texas Roadhouse, you pay like forty dollars. Right, and That's you get what the, I thought the about. biggest yeah, fucking sides of all time. Steak. I mean, you're not going home fucking not uh, not hungry. 
You know, yeah. Karen's taken me a couple places that uh, I've had to get food on the way home. You know, and the, you fucking spend a ton of money. We almost get, we almost did that last night. We almost went to McDonald's. That, that happened to me. I was before. like, <sighs> this like, ain't enough food. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck, man? Like, yeah, it was. I don't know, just kind of, I mean, it was good that we got to hang out and spend time, but like every place, it was like something about it was not great. I'm like this sucks. Well, where'd this you bar hop at? Geneva. I mean, don't you usually go to St. Charles? Yeah, but we're like, let's go to a place we haven't been before. If we just go to the same places, yeah. it kind of gets you know a little boring. And I'm like, right. we need to go back to Schmidt's and Elburn. Yeah. Get my chicken you, sis breast sandwich. You know with, what to get. Get my fucking vodka oh. tonic. I don't have to say anything. I walk in there. It's already at the table. Oh, yeah, that's what you should. Do. I go. We got to go yeah. back there. We can't be mixing it up with these these yuppie folk. Yeah. That was yeah. your mistake. A mistake, but now you learn, you know? And you now, live, you learn. Uh, That's happened to me before. Bar food until whenever. Well, until next weekend. Where are you going next weekend? Well, Haley's graduating, so Amber's made like 10 different reservations at restaurants. Now, where is that at? In Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yeah. You should go out and see that one guy out in Pennsylvania. That's where I want to go. Who? That uh, Seth Fiorci. Oh. He's out in Pennsylvania. I'd love to yeah, go Yeah, but that's gym. a big state. Yeah, it's true. I think he's. Uh, he, I don't know where he's at actually. I went to Dana Lynn Bailey when they had. It, yeah, there. I remember I don't know if a couple still years ago. There, no, though. I don't think it is. They're out in Montana. They've been out there for five years. And they have that that Power Build gym is pretty big now. Power Build. Yeah, it's P W R B L V D. Oh, it's some guy you knew, right? Yeah, I kind of knew him because I think he worked. He worked at the gym, the D the Dana Lynn Bailey gym, whatever. I don't and know what it's he called. Had a new place, yeah. And then like years later, I went back and he had like his badass gym. Now it's like people are going like they have like have a seminar or something with Andy Wang and uh, what's that guy from Wisconsin, real strong kid my age, one of the best part of the oh yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, John Wagons yeah Bilbo Swaggins he's yeah. going out there like like so he's getting like a lot of notoriety and that gym's really really nice, um so it's nice to have a plan if I want to go train somewhere I can but I probably won't have time because I'll be at the bar the whole time, at graduation yeah. well that's worth it yeah well, we have to figure out podcasting next week next week you're gonna be on the road. Well, it's not the thing. Amber's leaving Wednesday, oh, and come, we're, we're flying back Monday together. But I'm not leaving until Saturday morning. So I might just get a babysitter so we can podcast. Well, I'm coming to your house, I but know, then but the girls, kids might wake up. If the girls up, come downstairs and wake yeah. up and interrupt, like yeah. it's not a quick fix. It's no. like so I might just get a babysitter, or we do it Tuesday. I get a deadlift though. Yeah, we'll figure it out, buddy. Don't worry about it. I don't want you losing sleep over this. Well, I can go later Wednesday probably. Yeah, I don't want. I think my I think my days off change next week again. Jesus, man! They've changed like several times. It was Sunday, Monday, then it was oh, Thursday, oh, Friday, Friday. Only thing that happens Saturday. to you that's consistent is change. That's true. Isn't that crazy? Change is good. Change is good. Well, except when it's your days off. I know that's not good. That's it not fucks good. everything up. Yeah, when I go, I go on shift on at work like every three four months, and it like at first it's like oh it's kind of nice because I will have the mornings off mm-hmm. and they can kind of like do shit or go get brunch or hang yeah. out with my wife more, and then I'm like. I go back to days or I'm trying to get more shit done. I'm like, dude, I'm fucking barely keeping up over here. Yeah. It just throws you. When they change your sh- shift around or days off, you're like all fucked up. It's fucked me up big time, man. I've had different. I haven't been changed these days off since I started the prison, you know, because you get bumped a lot there. Mm-hmm. But, uh, well, you went to days, though, which is the biggest thing. Oh, yeah. I've been on days for like five it's years. Nights. It's fucks great. Up. Oh, God. Well, that's why you had a question. I saw that one day and I, I, I had the correct answer big time because I had to do that for a couple years. What do you mean? The guy's like, hey, I work this and this, and I only need two meals. Yeah, what yeah. do I do? Well, you just you do the exact opposite. The exact opposite worked. If you don't, it's you're going to be fucked. You have to act like at 7 o'clock, whenever you get off, 8 o'clock in the morning is when you go to bed immediately. And then you sleep for 7, 8 hours, 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. You wake up and you pretend that is morning. And then you eat your breakfast. Then you do whatever, mid-afternoon snack I would do or whatever. And then I would train. So that would be like fucking – my noon would be like, you know, six at night or seven at night. And then after I trained, I would eat again and then I would go to work and then I would have my meals like I would have meals like I would have at my regular job at 7 a.m. I would have the same meals. And then when I got home, I'd have a protein shake and I would go to bed. I would usually take a scoop of fade out to help me sleep. Who makes that? Uh, Redcon Opto? 1. Oh, Redcon. That was great. I don't know if it's still the same product I haven't taken in years, but when, they, when I was sponsored by them, man, I love that product. It would put me out, and I would not wake up because a lot of times when you when you'd work third shift, it would be hard to sleep during the day. Yeah. But I would I slept in my basement, and it was dark, and I would take that fade out, man, and I would get such good sleep. Yeah, but what, I'd have really bad dreams. Do you think it'd be better because you're saying, let's say eleven to seven, eleven at night to seven in the morning, mm-hmm. you get off work, you sleep right away for eight ish, six eight. 
I'd sleep six to eight hours just so like you would sleep, Your second shift of you, your day is sleeping, and the next shift of your day is being up. So to me, that seems backwards. You have to. Yeah. There's but, no other way of doing it. No, actually, no, there is. Because, no, there's not. Yes, there is. What? If you're going to pretend like everything's backwards, then when you wake up, 11 a.m. is your 7 a.m. Right, because if I wake up and go to work tomorrow at seven, seven if I wake up and go to work tomorrow at seven a.m., right, I get off work and then I go eat, train, do whatever with the kids, and then I go to sleep at ten. But if you're on third shift, would it make more uh, sense no. to hold on, hold on? If you're getting up at ten to go to work at eleven, when you get off work, would it make sense to go eat and then train and then do what you need to do and then go back to bed before you back to shift? Because then your day was exactly opposite. Oh, you're talking about. No, no. The only reason I would never do that is because I need that afternoon free. I need that afternoon free. Three to three to ten or three to the nine. Yeah. Right. You need that free if you're, especially if you got a family. I need that part. Oh, instead free. of instead of the seven to three. Mm-hmm. So you'd say sleep when you get off, so you can yep. do more shit from three. Okay. That's so everything's point. going on during that time too. Everything. So you need to be around during that time. Right. Because kids are off school. Everything's going on then. Nothing's going on from seven to three. Seven to three, and then nothing's going on from eleven to seven. Because 11 right. to 7, most people are sleeping. Right. Well, I'm working while you're sleeping, and while you're working, I'm sleeping. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. then we're good to go during that time frame. I mean, it worked perfect when I was on third shift. Yeah, I guess that makes I, sense. My, I got stronger. Uh, you know, my weight was great. Everything, I looked good. I mean, everything was fine. It wasn't like, because you see a lot of guys that go to third shift, and they go to shit. They just blow just up. They fucking blow up. Because they don't Big do anything. Time. Yeah. All they do is eat, yep. and they sleep. Eat and sleep, eat and sleep. <laughs> they don't a, do any exercise. They don't do nothing. We had a foreman at work. That he like made like for a summer schedule, he was able to kind of make his own. So he's like, he's in the office. Yeah. Um, and he was like, he did like a 12 to 8, and it like kind of fucked him up. But then every day he would come in with six donuts and two like chilled coffees that looked like oh, it was yeah, like so almost like, looked like milk. 2,000 calories. It was so much whatever <laughs> shit in it. Yeah. And he fucking put on like 50 pounds yeah. in the summer. He like changed his eating schedule. He's like, oh, I'm just fucking, you know, I woke up late. Because I got off work, and then yeah, I, I slept in because I don't have to get up. And, like, it oh, fucked so him up. no discipline. And he had to get off. He, like, left work for, like, two months to lose weight. There's no discipline. I mean, 12 <laughs> no. to 8? I mean, the way the guy didn't have a family, you, you do he whatever did. you want. So, you at night, you come home at 8 o'clock at night? Like, 9. Everybody's in bed. So, what, do you just drink and fucking watch TV? I mean, that's a bad schedule. It's a bad that's habit a to get into. Schedule. And then you get in that habit of just coming home and fucking nothing's up. I drink. I eat whatever I want. I eat a pizza before I go to bed. Pass out. I wake up when I'm wrong because I don't got to get up at a certain time. Right. You're going to wake up. You don't up have a alarm noon. clock. I'll wake up for noon. Then I'll eat like shit. Like you pick up a bunch of donuts and some fucking shit drinks. Yeah. Drink that and then eat like shit, shit again during your work time. And then you just get off at nine o'clock. Everybody's in bed. I'll just eat like shit, watch TV, and go to bed at fucking two in the morning. Right. It sounds depressing. It's a terrible. That's, I would hate that. Yeah. Never see anybody. No. You really? wouldn't. Those are the worst hours ever. Yeah. You know? It was weird. I don't know why he, like, I think he, like he chose it. Yeah. That was very strange. I would never choose that. Because they have, like, back shift form where they work, like, 3 to 11. He's like, oh, I'll just bump it back from 12 to 8. I'm like, what? You can't do anything. Like, 3 to 11 sucks because you just miss everything Second all the shift time. sucks, yeah. If you don't have a family, it's, yeah. it's a good drinking shift. If you like drinking... Yeah. You get off, you drink to four in the morning. You don't have to wake up. You wake up, fucking have a beer before breakfast, yeah. and then go back to work again. And, well, I guess. If you're young. In the city, they have a lot of bars, too, that open at seven in the morning. Well, that's the same in the. So guys will drink to like four or five. Work and towns hang the out same for an way. hour and then go to the bar at seven. Work in towns like Pontiac. Yeah. We could get off work, and sometimes I'd go drink beer at seven in the morning if you had work third shift. You drink beer from seven to noon. And you, oh, man. I remember being drunk at noon before. I was like, holy crap. Then you go to bed and you, you fucking wake up at like at nine o'clock and then you go right back to work again at night. No thanks. No, that's a that's a rough life, man. It's a young man's game. Big time. Big time. No, I have seen a lot of guys get really fat and out of shape. Guys I went to the academy with, you know. Oh yeah. And then they come. You'll in. see him like lateral later or come they'd back be, with seniority. Yeah, yeah, they'd be skinny, and then they go to third shift, and then you see him like a year or two later, and all they did was eat that food because it's free, and it's not good for you, but it's free. Huh. Right, and uh, yeah, those guys just fucking. One guy gained like seventy pounds. He's like your height. He's like five six or whatever. He's a real short five, kid. Five, five seven. Five five seven with his cowboy boots on, <laughs> and he's probably like maybe started at like one hundred sixty five, hundred seventy pounds. Oh my god, pretty good shape, right? And he's like two forty, two fifty, all fat. Like you didn't recognize him. All belly, all belly, all fat in the face and big belly. But uh, yeah, that's third shift life, man. Nah, that's just laziness. That's what what's his name? He got fat that way too. 
Price. He he comes in third shifts. You know, when he started his career, he came in fresh off the boat or off of uh, not the boat, the boat. the fucking military, right? Yeah. You know, great shape, great shape, and and he comes in and works third shift and gets fat. You know, because that's what third shift will do to you if you yeah, let it. I, I would think like if it was me and I got stuck on third shift at work for a while or something, I would just do what you did. It worked. 100%. But you have to have that mentality change where, like, okay, I'm not going to fucking go to the drive-thru because a lot of people do. I, my, my, my eight hours of working is at a different part of the day I now. Know. That's, so now my excuse is, that's, well, I should just go to the McDonald's. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, it's, whatever. I'll just go to Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, I'll go to bed whenever I want. Nobody's at my house. I'll just go to bed at noon, maybe wake up at 7, eat again, talk to the kids for a minute, talk to my wife, go back to work, eat like shit, sleep. I mean, it's that's what people do. I know it fucks with people. Like it fucks with your health being on that shift. In oh general. yeah, you fucking compound that with eat like with shit. bad habits. You fucking maybe sleep, don't sleep that much anymore. Yeah, it's hard to sleep during the day. Yeah, then you don't see your family, so you may be stressed about shit. That's like it's a, it's a shit shift if you if you let it. Sounds like get a shit shit show. It is a huge shit show. No, I, I and I had a long drive on top of that, so it sucked even worse. You know, and I was going to a maximum security facility on top of that, and it was. And then sometimes on my Friday or my Monday would be uh, whatever. I'd have to stay up, I, you know, with the kids too sometimes all day yeah. until Karen got home. Then Because that would really fuck you up when you had to change your sleep. So I'd stay up with the kids because they don't run at school yet. They're young. Oh, and I'm right, barely, right. I can barely stay awake because you just worked all night. Then you're doing that. And then uh, maybe when she got home, whatever time that was, I'd get a couple hours of sleep then go back to work. Yeah. And then i get mandated for a 16-hour shift <laughs> and then have a two-hour drive home. Hour and a half drive home. That was the worst. Those are rough. Now I'm driving my e bike to work. They fixed it? First shift. Yeah, yeah. I drove it last summer. Or they sent the tire back? No, I got it fixed. Oh, I, nice. I took it to Dick's. Oh, that's right. You had to take it somewhere. Yeah, some guy fixed it for me. So it's... I went to Dick's yesterday. I heard they're closing. Uh, are they? I heard a lot of those shops are closing. It's just so exciting. I was looking at tennis shoes, and I'm like, I dude, I don't remember the last time I bought shoes. Like, I just don't. Like, Amber buy me a pair here and there, and I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I'm not a shoe guy. Not my thing. I'm not a shoe guy. I don't give a fuck. No. Uh, I like boots, big boot guy, but shoes don't give a shit. And I was like, oh, these are nice. How much are they? Uh, $200. What kind? I don't know. Nikes, Adidas, anything. Uh, everything was like yeah, they're, I mean, they're expensive, minimum. Man. Everything was a minimum $100 there. I go, fuck this. We're out. I went to DSW next door and found them for like 70 bucks. That sounds good. I'll take those. Yeah, no, I, I like shoes a lot. I just I like shoes and boots, but I haven't bought any in a long time. Karen's yeah. getting mad. I kept buying too many. And then I had a guy who was getting them for free for a long time. That was good when he got a hookup. I had a hookup for a while. Who was that? That blessed feet guy. Blessed feet. That's right. Yeah, he's hooking me up with some good shoes. Yeah. Uh, I like I like no shoes now. I like Crocs or K hey dudes or whatever. Hey, my hey dudes get all like sloppy all the time. I don't I know. know if they're just old. They stink. And they stink. I know. That's the worst part. And then somebody's like, "Well, you should wear Crocs." I'm like, putting those fucking. Things well, Crocs are the same way, Fuck dude. That. They turn out to be like a sponge. Oh really? Like my feet will sweat and they'll sponge up. Gross. <laughs> Spitting everywhere. No, I don't really have my feet exposed too much. No. Like, like, if I sweat for like 30 minutes, oh, my feet are disgusting. Yeah. Like, no one wants to fucking smell that. No. I keep that fucking bitch locked in. Yeah. You know? You just go barefoot, you know. Cam used to do that. He don't do that no more. Well, you got to have shoes in Elmhurst. It's red Cam now. Yeah. It ain't happening. No way. It ain't those, happening. Those feet, those toenails are painted, brother. Painted. He's got, I hear he wears like silk socks. Yeah. Where they call them stockings. Yeah. Silk stockings now, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, he has red lights all over his house. Red lights. Yeah. What the fuck you talking about? Like so, when I, when I went there to go to sleep for three hours before we got in the plane, fourteen hours early. Oh, he wouldn't let me come to his house. He. I asked to come over. He wouldn't let me come over. No, yeah, he's very protective of it. I guess. I'm like, I'm like looking around. I go, it's like that red light right there. <laughs> They're like everywhere. Why? All those bulbs are like. I don't know if he can change them with a remote or he changes them physically. Or whatever, he just has some setup he leaves for red. But every time it's like nighttime, he turns off his lights and he put red light only on. What does that do? Red light district? Uh, yeah. I think it's something for your sleep or your eyes. Like how you're not supposed to have like the screen is supposed to be yeah. different too on like yeah, night yeah. mode or something yeah. on your phone. I think he says it does something for that. And it, I told does, him, it supposedly does something to your brain or something. Yeah, to calm, oops, calm you down or something. But I also told him, I go, that's, like, have you ever heard of an upside down pineapple? I go, what's that? Like, he's like, yeah, for swingers. I go, red lights are for swingers. What? People who illuminate their house inside red means they want to swing. For real? No. Oh. <laughs> but I told him that. And he believed it? <laughs> yeah. No, he's taking them all down. <laughs> I go, that's for swingers. What? 
No, it's not. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's for swingers, Cam. <laughs> that's how people know that you want to, you know, they are knocking your door if they yeah. see the red lights. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. I think he was convinced, too. I have to ask him. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's good he doesn't listen to the show. Yeah, thank God. Whew. That would have been bad. Been real now bad. Now it's all blue in there. It's got blue lights everywhere. Yeah. Get away from me. <laughs> yeah. No, and I told you guys couldn't come over. Shit. Oh. God, I, I forgot what I was going to talk about now. I had something really important to say. I'm sure it wasn't that important. Oh, yeah, it was. Oh, uh, it was about you getting on the platform. Platform? What platform? <laughs> I don't know. The one Aaron wants you to get on. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck that piece of shit. <laughs> I blocked him from everything. I'm so sick of hearing about that shit. Has the guy got anything else to do? No, he just wants to mess with you, I guess. I don't know. So bad I was getting phone calls about it. People worried about you, Tommy. Worried about me for what? Because you weren't answering. Answering what? Phone calls from people. What, am I supposed to answer a phone call from some crazed fan named Fat Aaron? <laughs> crazed fan. My God. <laughs> what an annoying. I used to like that guy, too. He's turned into the most annoying type of nerd of all. That's too bad. It is. It is. You know. Uh I, I could see he, he wants me to go bench 500 pounds of platform, which I will do when I want to do it. Like I said before, I'm going to go do it because some guy told me to. And then I go do it. And now Fat Aaron's going to take the credit. Hey, uh, I, you know, I, 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 give me the mic. I'd like to thank a guy named Fat Aaron. <laughs> you know, he really pushed me and I did it for him. Now, thank you, Fat Aaron, for everything. <laughs> Yeah. No, I will compete again, uh, you know, when I want. And I'm not going to do it because somebody told me to. I've never been like that. I've never followed anybody. I'm my own person. I am Huck Finn. You are not. And, uh, yeah, fuck those guys. That's about <laughs> all I got to say about that. <laughs> it's funny. And I, you say, like, someone telling me to go somewhere and compete. When I was, like, starting to gain popularity in the sport because I started squatting, like, six, seven hundred pounds, like, really quickly, I kind of made yeah. that shoot that right. shoot up. Um, There was this podcast Brandon Allen used to do. It was like Power Up Podcast or something. Who was he with? Like four other guys. It was like kind of a shit show. Cause it was like five he, he had like talking, numerous ones. And it was the one guy was like Chris DePompio De or something. And they like messaged me on Instagram. Hey, we want you on Power Up or Power Off or whatever it is. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like, mm-hmm. You want to do an interview? Like, yeah, right now we're calling you. And I'm like, hey. Hey, what's Tom? What's going on, guys? Oh, they kind of blindsided you? Yeah, they're like, hey, we all <laughs> You know, you're not shit unless you come do this meet. And I'm like, what? Tell somebody who gives a fuck. I go, what are you talking about? I'm like, yeah, you need to fly to Las Vegas and do this USPA meet. I go, Why? and I, I I didn't know what the USPA was. Right, right. Because I was, I just did UPA and APF. The USPA wasn't a, really a big thing in Illinois. Right. And, yeah. not, not a, and our crew didn't do it. So yeah. I go, what the fuck is a USPA? I don't even know what you're talking about. You don't oh. know what you don't even know what the USBA is. Oh, yeah. you idiot! Because there's there like, like uh, walked out squats. Yeah, and I'm like, why am I on this interview? And I'm like, so you want me? And the kid was stronger than me. I go, so you want me to fly to Las Vegas to walk out my squats to compete against a guy that I he's stronger than me. He's a fucking great lifter. Yeah. Just to lose to this guy? Well, yeah, it'd be admirable. Admirable for what? I go Who not the fuck? for me. Like, that sounds like a pain in the ass. Like, I compete where it's best for me, and it's best for, like, if my sponsors want to send me somewhere. Well, if I'll... somebody told you to do it, you're going to do it. No. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely I not. don't give a fuck what you think. I don't care. Yeah. I've never cared what anybody thought about me. I was like, I was like I'm done. I go, Can I, are we done with this interview? And then I hung up, and Brandon, like, texted me or called me. He's like, dude, I'm so sorry. Because it, you got blindsided. He goes, that was not the intention. And we talked for a little bit. But I was fucking pissed. I don't know. I was like, what the fuck is this bullshit? Yeah. But now I like him. He's good. Dude. I like Brandon. Well, I always liked him. I mean, yeah, it was just weird, like that interview. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Like, I don't even know what you guys are talking about. Well, yeah, like, if you don't come out and do this, yeah, I was like, tell uh, somebody who gives a fuck. I'm not gonna. Do I do what I want when yeah. I want. I don't care about you. Like, you can come to Illinois when I pick my meat. If you think I'm know. a piece of shit, you think I'm a piece of shit. I don't care. Yeah, that's not gonna bother me. It's gonna. I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. Yeah, too much Either like me, on. hate me. Yeah. I'm Tom Finn, and you're not. Bam. And I don't care what you think. I never have. Yeah. I've never cared what, if I cared what people think. My whole life, man, my life would suck yeah. right now. Right. You know? Too many people do. A lot of people do. A lot of people care what other people think. I do not care. I never have. I th- my whole life. I think you see it less in the Midwest. Like, I think California, everybody's, like, trying to, like, really care about what people oh, say and think and all that shit. Like, because I had a friend from there. Like, not a friend, really. A guy, an acquaintance at best. 
Mark Bell. No, uh, this other guy, and he came into town. And the, which Silent the way he, Mike. The way, he talked, <laughs> the way he talked about like his business and what he did, like he was just pompous and mm-hmm. I'm better than you, and these people know me, and it's like he really cared about what other people thought. I'm yeah. like, I, I'm about to beat you up and take your Rolex, dude. I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you in this yeah. alley, and you're gonna bragging about your hundred thousand dollar Rolex. I go, I'll fucking try to fight you for a hundred grand. Yeah, I don't. I'm like, you might I don't not care say what that. other. It was I, weird. I care what I do. I care about my family. I care. Um, I put all my effort into, like, building myself, building my brand, or, or, or you know, keep working out. I don't care what you do. I don't care, Tom, if you go home and put on fucking high heels. That's I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Never have. I don't care what Fat Aaron's doing. I only care about Huck Finn Barbell. You know, a lot of other people, they do care. They're like, man, I wonder what this guy's doing. I wish I could be like this guy, or I could do. I wish I could do this, or I'm going to act like this guy. I've never, ever done that. I've always acted like myself. I think that's why I'm. I got popular is because of that too. Right. I didn't here. try to be somebody I'm not trying to. Like, I'm not trying to be somebody I'm not. I never have. You know. Um, I, I fucking wear cut off t-shirts uh, everywhere I go. I don't try to like dress up. I'm not that. I yeah. know you're kind of like that, but that's who you yeah. are. Yeah. You're not trying to be like me. No. Oh, I mean, God no. no, the, no. <laughs> the world no. would be a fucking boring ass place if everybody was Tom Finn or everybody was Tom Callis. Yeah. You know. Um, I, I was never normal. I like. And similar to like uh, what uh, what's his name's brother said, I'd rather be dead than average. Well, I would rather be dead than average. I'm not average. I would never want to be average. I never right. wanted to be the the person next door. You know, I think that's a boring life. But some people like that. I don't. Yeah, like two each their own, right? And just same way with uh, if you want to go home and put lipstick on, I don't care. But don't shove it down my throat too. I hate just that like shit. the Bud Light stuff. I can't stand it. It's like you just go do you. Right. I don't need to fucking. No. I don't, you don't need to see me fucking make out my wife twenty four seven. You don't need. It's no. Like, like I don't. Like I don't need to. I see sh- it all the time. I fucking Instagram. Come when on. you post it, you yeah, know, like once and show months. it down my throat. <laughs> happy wife, good life, or hot wife, hot happy wife. wife. Yeah. Happy. I'm gonna start wife, saying happy that. Happy life. That's that's a good saying. It is. Um, yeah, I just don't like the you know shove it down our throats, shove it down the kids' throats. That's what I can't stand. Same here. Like, I think the majority of people are like that bullshit, too, dude. You know, majority of Americans are like that. I, you think they're like? I think they are. Obviously, that's it's showing in, in the sales. Well, it didn't help. They also like trash frat people. That's what like, I said. It's, it's like, same thing. Now you're making like, fun of me for drinking your beer. Yeah, that's what really would piss me off if I was a Bud Light. Oh, I got a great Bud Light story. Okay. So uh, I go to this bar restaurant at eleven o'clock to get food. I got a story too. Keep going. So I'm in there. The only person in there is the owner and like a worker or something. And I'm ordering uh, my hamburger to go, right? Um, talking to the guy, and the cook comes out, and he starts – he's got a big bucket, like a big, uh, I don't know, probably two-gallon type bucket type thing. And he starts uh, pouring some shitty beer from the tap in there. And the guy starts yelling at him, whoa, 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 no, no, no. Use the Bud Light. Nobody's drinking Bud Light. Use the Bud Light. And I'm like, well, what's that for? He goes, oh, that's our beer batter. Nobody's ordering Bud Light, so we're, we're trying to use that up. I'm like, God, that's, that's awesome. Hilarious. Nobody's u- they're using Bud Light now instead of like fucking, I don't know, some shit beer they had that nobody buys. Well, now they're using Bud Light. They used to be like one of the most popular beers. They're using that to use your, for their beer better to cook with now. Yeah, oh, that was great. It's great, great. Loved it. So uh, well, before we um, did like the yard work and I worked on my sister's car, and all, or sister-in-law's car. Oh, was the guy drinking Bud Light? The yeah. boyfriend? Yeah. Shut up. I thought it was a joke. Oh, I, I thought almost, you were joking almost, with me. I, I almost laughed kidding. when he ordered it. <laughs> We, get to the, we we were supposed to go to a t-ball game. It got canceled. So I'm like, let's just go to Schmidt's, have a, a drink and a fucking and a burger. Like, did anybody look at him funny? Or? Oh, I did. Oh, I, but I, he was like, okay, I'll get like a Red Bull vodka. And it's like 11.01. <laughs> like the first people here, I'm like, Red Bull vodka? We're about to do yard work. And I'm like, oh, whatever. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Do your thing, dude. That's what you like to drink. And she's like, ah, oh, we don't have uh, Red Bull. We get Monster. She's yeah. like, ah, oh, we don't have that. And he's like, I'll just do a Bud Light. And I was like... <laughs> Waiting for like a yeah, and she's like, and I thought the waitress was like the same way almost. Yeah, she was like, mm. well, you're in Elburn. I mean, she's like, oh, well, okay, yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I was like, what the fuck? I asked, I go, what do you? That's a joke now, dude. You can't drink those, especially in a, a bottle. Every scene you drink it, yeah, and you're like in the small town, where yeah, it's like probably banned. Yeah, the, the guy told it's me he said some people will buy it. It's like, what are you just doing, from dude? the tap? They won't buy it. They won't like be seen with it. With it's a tap beer, sometimes they'll buy it because they, they don't. Nobody notices it. Yeah. Sometimes he said, 
but they won't order the bottles of Bud Light ever. Man, wow. they really screwed that brand up. Yeah, just, that's funny just to see that too and to hear that from just a local guy at a bar just tell me that like nobody's buying this. Yeah, well, they're the fucking they're trying to be fucking cool and woke oh, yeah, or right. whatever. Yeah. But it's like you have such a minute amount of people that are doing this. Just, yeah. it, it's a cool thing is to now support it. And I'm like, I mean, when do you think it, that work out? Of course you want the fraternities to drink your alcohol. You want to get it hooked on it when they're young. So when they're going to buy it their whole life because they're hooked on it when they're younger. Yeah. I mean, that should be like the, the most simple marketing tool ever. Hey, let's get these 21 year olds drunk on Bud Light. So that's the kind of beer they like because right. they're used to it and they'll drink it the rest of their life. Yeah. We have fucking people buying it for 50 years. No, no, we don't want to be a fraternity brand. Yeah, These guys are jerk offs. So brand, we got to, we yeah, got maybe yeah, we can get a class this up a little bit. Yeah, let's get the transsexuals on board. And there's a lot of them. Yeah, They'll buy our beer. Yeah, They're going to make us billions. Let's expose them all to our kids. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, get the fuck God. out of here, dude. And that's the one thing. People will change their beer. There's a lot of other beer choices in this fucking world. If you're going to make fun of me for drinking your beer, I ain't fucking buying your beer. If that happened, to Miller Lite. And saying, oh, yeah, we don't want the fraternity people to drink this. You know, we're going to have, like, you know, uh, whatever the dude's name is on there with the dress. Like, no, I will go drink a different beer immediately. There's a thousand different beers I can dr- drink and spend my money. I can, uh, you know, at least support this cause and spend my money elsewhere than spending it on you, you know. It's going to suck for, like, the guys that, like, definitely, like, if it was me and I was Bud Light drinker, I'd be done. But, like, if I'm trying to think of, like, it was Tito's. Like, dude, that's all I drink. I'd switch brands. I mean, I would. I mean, there's a lot of different. You go to like Belvedere there. or something, yeah, but it's just like it's, it would just really suck because you're like, yeah, you can't order Tito's anymore. Yeah, I don't believe in what they believe in. Yeah, and now it's like, oh damn it! Now uh, I guess I'll have uh, Grey Goose. Maybe. There's so many I people know. I know that drink that drink Bud Light or Bud Tell White. Or, guys, where I, where I grew up from, and everybody I know that I've talked to or have seen them, they don't drink it anymore. That's a like a, a lot of people. And, and that just multiplies and multiplies. Obviously, you've seen them, the loss they've had. Yeah, it was like when the first two weeks, it was like $5 billion. It's fucking something. crazy. I mean, maybe not the first two weeks. It's like 25% but. sales loss. I was trying to think. I think their stock was down a bunch, too. Uh, let's see if we can find it. Bud Light. I don't know what their sticker t- ticker ticker symbol is. Yeah, well, people are coming around. You know, the world can't keep uh, – I mean, it's sometimes the stuff that is like – Sure. The stuff that's happening is like it's like seems like it's fake, like it's a movie or something. Like this can't be true. Yeah, it's not real. There's no There's way no that's way. true. And they're like, "Oh no, it is real." Like what? How could this? It doesn't even make sense. I think it's it's got to turn. There's no way. It's, it's just it's just so so stupid. And that's what you always think, and then they come out with something else dumber. Yeah. Hey, just you when you a, thought we could get any dumber, you're going to do something like this. If you have a good credit score. Don't worry, you're going to pay more yeah. because the guy next to you doesn't. That's a huh. Crock what? of shit. Yeah, you're going to pay a point more. He's going to pay a point less. Yeah. Let, let's. Uh, what? Oh, and then you're going to have an extra closing cost fee because his is going to be cheaper, so yours is going to be Let's more. reward the shitheads. You know, let's not reward the people that work hard and, like, do the right thing. Let's nah. reward the people that are pieces of shit. Yeah, help everybody, dude. Yeah. It's not, you know, no. you couldn't pay your bills, so. Yeah. You Don't know, work hard. We'll make it cheaper. It gets you nowhere. Yeah. Do nothing. Sit on your ass all day, and we'll give you everything. Unreal. That's dude. the American way. Don't be rewarded. That's the way America's going. What you do right. Yeah. Fucking blows my mind. How is this? How you should just agree? shut up and blow me. I don't know how everybody agreed on that. Like, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. Hey, let's defund the police, too. <laughs> let's just have all fucking lawlessness go on at all times. You know, shoot everybody, shoot heroin, do whatever you want to do. We're not even going to take you to jail. We'll just say, here's a slap on the wrist. I'm sorry. Can't oh, you're leave. homeless? Oh, well, you can go squat in this guy's land. He paid for it. That's happening in Oregon right now in Portland. They're passing a bill where... Uh, homeless are people too. If they want to go to your land, they're homeless. They have a right to privacy as well. They can just squat here. If they squatted here, they can sue you now for telling them to get off your land. Are you kidding me? Is that Jesus. real? That's real. I just saw that in an article the other day. And I thought there was something in Illinois too. If someone's like on your property, the police can't get them off. I don't know if it was in Illinois, but it was like they're like we can write them a ticket. Are you? That's I was like what? Yeah. And he's like you got to take care of that yourself. I'm like oh, okay, okay, that's fine. Yeah. I'm like, oh my! Like, it just doesn't seem like it's just going to keep getting worse. It's we need to move. Wow, we need to move move to Arkansas like now. Mm-hmm. I know a guy who's down there right now. He's selling VCRs <laughs> in a Walmart. We should, uh, <laughs> I was thinking maybe just live to go to a different country. No, no, we don't. We go to Florida. That's a different country. Right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. 
Go be mad at uh, Hayden's neighbor. They haven't even heard of COVID down there yet yeah. in Texas. Listen, I know a guy named Dan Bell. He's got this mermaid room. He said I could stay in any time. Oh, nice. Uh-huh. Or is that Pinger in the room? It was something. Uh, Pelican. Pelican? That's a fin bird. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> I wonder, is Dan going to that rock thing that he went to last year? There's a big rock thing in Daytona Beach next week. Wow. You know, I don't know. He's a rocker, isn't he? He was there last year. Bouncing off guys? Yeah, I remember. I remember seeing video of him. I think he was half nude. He was T-O-P-L-E-S-S. Him and his wife. His wife was uh, top was on. What? (laughs) (laughs) T-O-P-O-N. No, uh, I talked to Billy the other day. He's going down there. I said, you got to look up Dan Bell. Like he, uh, Billy said he's buddies with this Pantera or something. So I said, fucking Bell. Oh, he texts who's the guy, doesn't he? He said, Bell's down there. Tell him. He went last year. Get him backstage or something. So huh. I told him to DM him. I don't know if he did or not. I got to go see Billy. Oh, Billy. I got to get some work done. Yeah, he's coming over here tomorrow. I'm getting a bunch of work done. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm serious. Oh, yeah, while you're benching? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting that steer head. I'm getting it. It's a really small one. It's in the middle. I'm getting yeah, really <laughs> tiny right here. <laughs> like Flexes the size of a pierced. nickel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> size of my oysters last night. Oh, yeah, size of my oyster. Unreal. Unreal, man. Let's bring it in for a landing, Tommy. No, I'm fucking pissed. Yeah. This is bullshit, Callus. Sorry, buddy. Hey, did you get that new truck yet? No, and neither did you. I'm about as close as you are. Listen, I just, just drove a couple. Great. And I... Didn't buy anything. I will probably have one, I bet, by this weekend. Yeah. Well, I'm not lying this time. Okay, yeah, sure. For, I mean, for... I did drive the e-bike to work today. A little different than a new truck. I test drove a Chevy 2024. That was nice. That's a little too nice for me, I think. Man, it was – it had this screen on it that was like – I don't even know. It looked like Back to the Future. I test drove a couple F-250s, uh, 21, a 22, and a 23. Hmm. And a uh, – I didn't te- – I went to a Ram dealership, but I didn't test drive anything. You just went there to look? Yeah, I was like, let's get the fuck out of here. I just had a ram. I don't know. I should... God, it's just over it. I was, I don't it's just like too much. Yeah. Yeah. Is this one with this one? I'm like, I don't need any more options. I know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know, but uh, yeah, that was what I did last weekend. Any day now, we'll have a truck. Any day now, it's coming. Yeah, we'll see. Coming. I ain't breathing hard yet. Speaking of coming. Yeah, you did that this weekend <laughs> at that massage parlor. Yesterday. Didn't you get your fucking semen checked? No, Aaron's got to drive me. You got your oil your buddy checked? Aaron's got to drive me. Oh, he's dead to me. He says he's going to take me, and then he's going to go to bench tonight. No, he's not invited. He's been he's been uh, kicked out of every group. What? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. We, I, we don't need that, you know. Now I heard he's making money off of Pappy saying as well. I don't know if they're going to make money. Piece of shit. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what they got going on. What I do know. They can keep losing while Hook Finn Barbell keeps kicking ass. I do know that um, if I have any leather belt needs, I'm going to go to generalleathercraft.com, as should you. Matt is a big supporter of the podcast, so please support him because he supports us, and he has for many years. Ah! Subzeroplunge.com. My brother, Tim Callis, he actually owns the entire company outright. He had two partners. He bought them out uh, the other day. I'm not sure if I should talk about that or not, but it doesn't really matter. It's 100% his company now, so uh, everything is to support Tim uh, and fucking awesome product. He doesn't go cheap on anything. Um, great chiller, run it from your phone. The tub is super nice, professional. Uh, great unit. So yeah. If you want to get one, use code STUPID. Oh, well, yeah, if you're going to get out. one, why wouldn't you support us, yeah, right? Right. Just like anything. Helps the podcast, helps my brother. Yeah. So and it's an awesome, awesome product because we would not endorse dog shit. I would tell Tim if it's, I thought it sucked, I'd be like, "Sorry, we can't have it on the show." Because yeah. uh, you suck, <laughs> General Other You suck as a salesman. Set a high standard. So check him out. Check out uh, Be Better on Instagram, BeBetterBrand.com or BeBetterOfficial.com. The Dad Challenge. Uh, I'm going to end it this weekend. So everybody's going to start Monday. Signups end Sunday. So if you want to do something different for eight weeks, do some different workouts, get in better shape before summer starts, it's a great way to kick off your uh, summer. Yep. Sign up. 
train with me. I'll be writing the workouts, helping you with the workouts, talking you through the workouts. You have messaging access to me. Everything will have a video attached to it, how to do it, what to do, and when to do it. So there'll be diet tips in there as well, stuff that I do that I think would help um, kickstart your summer body for 2023. Quit being lazy. Sign up. Train with me. That sounds a lot like Alpha World Order. Nah, mine's better. Bullshit. The alphas are taking over. Yours is bad. Mine's better. (laughs) Be bad. (laughs) What? That was my turn. (laughs) Go ahead, buddy. Uh, 16 shirts that uh, Miss Barbell has out right now. It's your last chance to get quite a few of them because she's throwing away some of the screens, taking up too much space. 16 different options. Um, Build your own tee. Uh, It'll probably be... I don't know, going on the rest of this week, possibly into next week. That is going on. We also have full supplement stocked, and that's about it. Huffinbarbell.com. Tommy, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go, uh, let's go drink a couple Bud Lights. A couple <laughs> hammer some Buds. Be nice and cheap. <laughs> Be better. Okay, bye.